So I will worship you in all I do. So I live my life to show that I know. You say that I mean so much to you. To another family experience. We have had so much fun this month learning all about respect. Respect is showing others that they are important by what you say and what you do. Every person we ever meet is made in the image of God and we should show respect because each person is special and important. I know it makes me feel special and important when someone treats me with respect. So if I show respect, it's a great way that I can treat others the way I want to be treated. Hey, should we get stuck into our game for today? Yes, please, Malia. I love games. And we've had so much fun learning about different road rules and how we can respect them. How about we end the month with a super awesome exercise challenge based on some of the road rules? And how this will work is Malia and I will show you an exercise loosely based on a road rule and you have to copy us. And we're going to do each exercise for 10 seconds and that's a way that we'll get an awesome workout today. Jim, no thanks! All right, team, up on your feet and let's get moving. Are you ready to respect the road rules and exercise with us? Let's go. Okay, first road rule is stopping for pedestrians at a zebra crossing. So the exercise for this is running ahead and stopping quick. All right, are you ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <sighs> All right, our next road rule is making sure we don't speed over speed bumps. And the exercise for that is that we're going to run forward and jump. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Three 2, two one. One. Oh, oh, that was a good one. Our next road rule is making sure that we don't exceed the speed. Oh. So we're going to run on the spot. Are we ready? Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, five 4, four three, 3, 2, two one. 1. Okay, two left. Are you guys puffed? We're puffed. So our next road rule is making sure we wear our seatbelt while we're driving. So our exercise is moving your arms like this. So it looks like you're putting on your seatbelt. Are you ready? Really fast now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 3 2, 1. Oh. That was a good one. And finally, our final road rule is stopping at stop signs. So let's do some star jumps. Instead of crossing our arms, we can make a cross with our body as we do star jumps to replicate stopping. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. one. Oh. Oh. Well done, guys. Boy, was that a workout. And we managed to respect the road rules at the same time. Now, let's get into our Bible story and hear how at the end of it all, God is the most important. Hey, everyone. I'm Erica. Hey, Erica. Now, one of those Romans who knew about Jesus was a Roman centurion. This man was important. He commanded at least 100 soldiers who did exactly as ordered with no question. Forward, march! And halt! Oh, you there, get me a fig and walnut sandwich at once. Yes, sir. With extra goat cheese. Right away, sir. The centurion was used to being obeyed, but Though he was stern, he was also a kind man. He cared about the soldiers under his command and the servants who worked for him. One day, one of the centurion's servants became desperately ill. The man was so sick he couldn't even move. 
The centurion may have called for the best doctors, but no one could help the man. So, the centurion did the unexpected. He went to a Jewish rabbi, Jesus, and begged for help. Lord, my servant lies at home and can't move. He's suffering terribly. Shall I come and heal him? Now you have to understand, going to the home of a non-Jewish person would make Jesus unclean. It was completely against Jewish custom, but Jesus cared more about the sick man than what people might say. It turned out the centurion did not ask Jesus to come to his home. Instead, he said, Lord, I am not good enough to have you come into my house. But just say the word and my servant will be healed. I, I myself am a man under authority. And I have soldiers who obey my orders. I tell this one go and he goes. I tell that one come and he comes. The centurion knew exactly how true authority works. He knew that when he gave a command, he spoke with the power of the Roman emperor and it would be carried out instantly. And he believed that Jesus' power and authority were so great that all Jesus had to do was speak a word from anywhere and the servant would be healed. And you know what? The centurion was right. Jesus turned to the crowd around him and said, What I'm about to tell you is true. In Israel, I have not found anyone whose faith is so strong. Jesus made it clear that anyone who has faith can be a part of God's kingdom, not just people who come from the right background. Then Jesus turned to the centurion and spoke the very word the man had hoped to hear. Go, it will be done just as you believed it would. Filled with joy, the centurion raced home. And sure enough, his servant ran out to greet him completely whole and healed, just as Jesus had said. The what an end. awesome story! Jesus is so powerful. He was able to heal someone with just one word. And let's talk about the Roman commander. I mean, he had some serious faith. He really knew the truth about Jesus' power and authority. And we should be like the commander, having great faith and always remembering the truth about God. We should always, always show respect to God because God is the one who made us and loves us and is always with us. We can remember that God is the most important. One of the best ways we can show respect to God is by spending time with God. Our lives can get so busy and really full, whether it's school or church or sports or activities, family time, friends time, time hanging out with your neighbor, so many ways we can spend our time. And all of those things are good things. But it's important to remember that our relationship with God is the most important of all. We can show respect to God by not letting all those other things crowd out our time that we spend with God. We can spend time praying, which is really just talking to God. We might pray before dinner or maybe at bedtime or here at Family Experience. But remember, we can talk to God on our own time, anytime and anywhere. We can talk to God about anything that's on our minds. We can also show respect to God by living the way that Jesus taught us to, by loving others the way God loves us. Hey Nath, what's our family question for today? Well Malia, our family question for today is, how do you show respect to God? You know, this could be at church, at school, on the sports field, at home, at the supermarket or any other place that you spend your time. Hmm. Do your words and your actions show God respect? And if you're having trouble of thinking about examples in your life, then no worries. Why don't you sit with your family right now and brainstorm some ways that you, should, you can show God even more respect. It would be real helpful to get lots of ideas. And that way you can thank God for helping us to show respect. And when you're done, why don't you head over to our Kidspace page for the latest episode of the So and So Show. See you, team!
that I mean so much to you. You love me like a friend and help me through. So I will worship you with.